Hey guys, um, so today's video, uh, it's gonna be like a part two of me getting ready for Comic-Con. Um, so my boyfriend's being Rachel and I'm being Zach, um, from Angels of Death. But his dad thinks, or my boyfriend's dad thinks that I'm being Rachel and he's being Zach. But I have both of our wigs because they just came in today. And then I have his clothing, which I need to personalize this plain white t-shirt. Um, I'm just going to paint it, honestly. And then I had to take a seam ripper to the blazer that we found so that he would have pockets. And then the shorts, sadly, have fake pockets on them, but it's fine. Um, so basically, that's what the video is. I will show y'all once I get this white t-shirt all taped up. And then I will paint it black. Um, I'll put in like pictures of what Rachel looks like and what Zach looks like. And then, yeah, we'll see more of me. Probably I might wash the wigs. I don't know. But yeah, if you want to see part two of this, then stay tuned. If not, then I hope to see you in another video. Bye.
Bye. Okay guys, now we're going on to wig cleaning. I don't have any special like synthetic shampoo and you're not supposed to use actual shampoo. I didn't use baby shampoo, I just went in with laundry detergent because I found out that was the easiest way to do it without having any type of synthetic shampoo. Um, I would have used baking powder, but honestly I don't want to take the risk of it accidentally bleaching the black wig. And I did the blonde wig first because I didn't want any of the color that could possibly come out of the black wig to affect the blonde wig. So I attempted to clean the wigs so that it would be easier for me to style them. <laughs> took too long in the clip that I had so basically I hung the wigs in my room to dry I turned on the fan so that there would be more air circulation and it would probably dry faster so I have one wig on my bedpost and then I have the other wig on top of my door none of my cats have touched it they don't they're kind of scared of it actually um so letting them air dry and make sure that the netting is dry and then make sure that the hair is dry because the hair is going to dry faster than the netting itself and you want the netting to be completely dry before you even touch it with a comb or a brush. So I am currently waiting for it to dry and then I will start combing it and I will not film me combing it but I will film me styling them. So I will come back once I have them all brushed out. My, 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 my style. My.
This is how I have the wig. I combed it all yesterday and then I just loosely braided it down to here and then these are the bangs. I'm gonna put in an image of exactly what my boyfriend is wanting for the wig. And so we're gonna get into cutting and styling it. Um, I'm gonna be using this curling iron. Um, it's Conair Supermax. Supermax by Conair. I have it on low just because this is synthetic hair. Don't want to put it on high and then it accidentally burning off the synthetic hair.
tell you twice The way I feel, here's my advice I told you once, now tell you twice The way I feel, here's my advice I told you once, now tell you twice The way I feel, here's my advice I told you once, now tell you twice The way I feel, here's my advice I told you once, now tell you twice Jennifer Brooks, 175 strong tonight. Let's listen in. 